Hey everyone, Mike here and welcome back to the Sim Racing Den. I decided to revamp my entire sim racing setup at the beginning of this year. Almost every piece of hardware was replaced, including the chassis, wheelbase, pedals, and accessories. Still, the one product that has remained a constant since I first started sim racing is my Fanatic Club Sport Shifter. However, with more options in the market now, like Moza Racing's HDP and the VNM Shifter, I'll explain why I'm still not ready to replace my trusty shifter and why I still think it's a great buy even in 2023. The Club Sport Shifter cost about $260 when making this video before tax and shipping were applicable. Compared to the closest comparables, the VNM Shifter is currently going for about $290 at most retailers. Moza's new shifter costs much less at $150 but is only an H pattern with no sequential mode. Even if you don't care about the sequential mode or may never use it, there is still a case I think to buy the Fanatic or VNM because the shift feel might suit you better, but not having tested either the VNM or the Moza units, I can't comment on the experience yet. The Club Sport shifter is technically two shifters in one, both an H pattern and sequential, which you can toggle with the flip of a switch on either side of the unit, depending on where you mount it on your rig. The Club Sport shifter is entirely made of metal and feels very solid and durable, and has been reliable after a few years of ownership. It still feels and looks great. The unit's weight makes it feel sturdy and gives a feeling of confidence when I'm banging through the gears. The shifter features seven gears on a traditional H pattern, like in versions of my favorite car, the Porsche 911. To engage the seventh gear reverse, you need to press down on the knob to unlock those gears, keeping you from shifting incorrectly. As I said, this is like two shifters in one. To allow for more driving flexibility and comfort, you can switch the H pattern mode to the sequential mode without any tools or having to unplug, reboot or switch out any parts. It's as easy as flipping one of the switches on either side of the unit, which allows you to mount from either side without blocking access to the switch. It's great for those who like to switch between different modes frequently, and this is a big reason why I still haven't felt enticed to try Moza's or VNM shifter since the Moza unit only offers an H pattern configuration and VNM, although not a major process, still requires taking a few minutes to get out tools and switch the gated plate for a sequential plate, making it slightly less convenient to use. The Club Sport shifter comes with two high quality knobs. The round ball I think is best suited for H pattern shifting and the longer cylindrical one makes sense for sequential mode, but you can use whichever one is most comfortable for you. The shifter arm is also pretty standard, meaning you can swap it out for a real automotive aftermarket shifter to personalize your experience. Fanatic also offers some carbon shift knobs to purchase as an additional accessory. I've been happy with the default knobs, they feel like the right size and weight, and still look great after a few years of use. You can also adjust the shift feeling and resistance by simply inserting an allen key into the hole on the left side of the shifter and turning the adjuster clockwise or counterclockwise to further dial in your preferred feel. The Club Sport shifter will work in most games and has worked with everything that I've tested with it, including all the most popular sim racing titles. It's compatible with all the Fnatic wheelbases and racing wheels and plugs into the dedicated port on the back of their wheelbases via an RJ12 cable that is included. But if you don't have a Fnatic wheelbase like me, an optional USB adapter does need to be purchased so you can connect it directly to your PC. The cost of the adapter will only set you back $20. The only honest criticism I have is that they should include this with every shifter to make it compatible right out of the box, regardless of whether if you own a Fnatic wheelbase or not. For consoles, however, the Club Sport shifter can be used on Xbox or PlayStation if connected to a Fnatic wheelbase. Unfortunately, it does not work on consoles by using the USB adapter limiting use for sim racers with other manufacturers wheelbases playing on consoles. If you're a table or desk driver, you can purchase an optional table clamp. The shifter also has the added ability to mount the Fnatic handbrake directly to the unit. So most importantly, how does the Club Sport shifter perform? While I have only driven a handful of manual cars in the real world and my daily driver is an automatic, however, the shifting feel is realistic and satisfying to me. Once I dialed in my preferred resistance, I haven't felt the need to make any further adjustments. Engagement of the gears feels direct and enjoyable to use, and I haven't had issues with misshifting due to the shifter, but more likely due to my own driving skills. There are also no annoying sounds or clicking when engaging gears in either mode. My only criticism is that the sequential mode has never felt perfect, as it tends to stick when engaging, and I find the throw too long for that mode. If you are primarily a sequential user, you may want to look at dedicated options that I think would do a better job here. 
but the all-in-one solution is hard to ignore and overall feels like a great package that has been reliable and fun to use. I realize it would only be fair to test other shifters on the market to know if the Fnatic is still superior to me. Still, the lack of sequential shifting from the Moza Racing alternative and the not-so-quick method to switch modes on VNM shifter has prevented me from considering them as a replacement. I also have a fourth option in mind that I considered, the SimMagic DS8X shifter, but after watching a great review from Race Beyond Matter, it seems it doesn't offer much over the Fnatic shifter. I believe there is still an opportunity and a gap in the market for a manufacturer to come up with a truly exceptional unit within the same price range that combines all the great features of the Fnatic shifter, but perhaps with some added value or additional perks worth spending the extra money on. We may see something from the likes of Asetek Sim Sports maybe. They seem eager to take on the whole market and I'm curious to see what other peripherals they might release. So let me know in the comments what would be your perfect sim racing shifter and why. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please hit the thumbs up as it does help recommend my content to other viewers. And again, let me know in the comments what you think and your experience using this shifter or the others on the market. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel for more sim racing content. So until the next one, stay safe and happy racing.